In this video, we'll talk about urinary tract infection. Urinary tract infection is the second most common infection in the whole world. Women are more susceptible to develop UTI compared to men. This is probably due to the anatomy of the female. One out of 10 male could get UTI, whereas eight out of 10 females can get a UTI infection. So females has smaller distance between the anal opening and the urethral opening. Whereas in male, the distance is way more. That means the chances of getting contaminated by the fecal matter associated bacteria is way more. And probably that is the reason why females get more often affected. Now also, this urinary tract infection is kind of dependent with hygiene and generally the distribution is somewhat like this, where the developing countries are at higher risk of developing uh, the urinary tract infection due to obvious reason, reasons like hygiene and many other factors. So let's talk about the symptoms of UTI. It involves pain in the lower abdomen, pain during urination, dysuria. It involves cloudy urine. Sometimes there are bad odors in the urine. There could be frequent urination and sometimes there could be fever and chills as well. Common causes of UTI involves bacteria because most of the cases UTI are bacteria borne disease. So there are many bacteria which can cause UTI. Majority of these bacteria are gram negative bacteria, especially Europathogenic Escherichia coli, which comprises 75% of them, Klebsiella, Proteus mirabilis, etc. There are many gram positive bacteria as well, which can cause UTI, such as Staphylococcus. There could be Enterococcus, there could be Streptococcus. All of these are associated with urinary tract infection. Very few cases of urinary tract infections are non-bacterial. Maybe some kind of fungus can cause also UTI. Now, the most common one is uropathogenic E. coli. And uropathogenic E. coli express multitude of virulence factors on them, which can break the mucosal barrier and can invade in our bladder. And that's how this can lead to cystitis. And in a moment, we would look at the... Uh, pathogenesis. The next one is Staphylococcus saprophyticus. This is also a very common bacteria which is, a form, which is the cause of cystitis in women. Probably it is related with, with the occurrence of natural flora in the woman's vagina and also it could be acquired with the infection with the catheter actually. Now the urinary tract infection most commonly affect the lower part of the urinary tract that means bladder urethra etc so initially it is urethritis when the urethra is inflamed then it would be cystitis when the bladder is inflamed eventually infection can spread up till the kidney and then it would be known as uh, upper urinary tract infection it is less frequent compared to a lower urinary tract infection but in this situation this is termed as acute nephritis, uh, pyelonephritis, sorry. So there are different stages of UTI. First stage is known as colonization, where bacteria form small colony near the urethra and starts its invasion. Then there is uroepithelium penetration, where it really invades the uroepithelium and kind of infects the uh, bladder. And it kind of replicates their increase in number. Possibly they can also form biofilms. Then they ascend through the ureter and move toward the kidney where they can cause pyelonephritis, which is an acute infection in the kidney. Ultimately, there could be kidney injury in long term if untreated. The risk factor of urinary tract infection involves using contaminated public toilets, multiple sex partners, usage of catheter after surgery. Like in, especially if the catheters are contaminated, there would be high chance that there would be bacteria invading your urogenital system. Ultimately, hormonal imbalance, especially during pregnancy, can also lead to or also increase the risk factor of developing a urinary tract infection.
but urinary tract infection is quite treatable. It's a bacterial infection, so obviously plethora of antibiotics can be used. A 3 to 5 day course of antibiotic can heal the infection. In rare occasions when the situation is untreated for a long time where complications are more, in that case hospitalization might be required. But I hope this video was informative enough. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Get all the notes and flashcards associated with this video in my Facebook channel. Links are in the description. In the Facebook channel, you could get many other flashcards which are dynamic in nature, highly interactive, would help, would be helpful for your preparation. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Support my channel with super likes or Bhim UPI or Patreon. My courses are also present in Unacademy, which is India's biggest online, online learning platform. Feel free to take the course. Using my code AP10, you can get a 10% discount.